Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, as I sing. This is the Word of God. The Word of God changes me. I'm always looking for the Word of God to change me. I pray that it changes you. If it just changes me, I'll be happy. Hallelujah. Would you open your Bibles to Acts, the book of Acts, chapter 27. I don't know if you know what leads up to this account. What leads up to this account. Je ne sais pas si vous savez ce qui nous a tous amenés à ce compte. Acts 27 is about the Apostle Paul. L'acte 27 parle à propos de l'apôtre Paul. Being hated as a prisoner. Étant haï comme un prisonnier. From Israel to Rome. From Israel to Rome. D'Israël à Rome. He went to Jerusalem. Il est allé à Jérusalem. And God had spoken through a prophet before that to warn him of what would happen when he went to Jerusalem. That he would be bound and in prison. God warned Paul of what was going to happen. Not to tell him, don't go. But to forewarn him. So that he would be prepared. It says, don't be surprised at the fiery ordeal that will come upon you. And trust me, fiery ordeals will come upon you. Because that world out there hates you. Hated Jesus first. And will hate you. So Paul went to Jerusalem. And he was imprisoned. In Caesarea Philippi. And then, because he appealed to Caesar, they were going to transport him to Rome by ship. And that's where we are in Acts 27. It says when it was decided that we would sail for Italy, they proceeded to deliver Paul and some other prisoners to a centurion of the Augustan cohort named Julius. And embarking in an Andromitian ship, which was about to sail to the regions along the coast of Asia, we put out to sea, accompanied by Aristarchus, a Macedonian of Thessalonica. The next day we put in at Sidon, and Julius treated Paul with consideration and allowed him to go to his friends and receive You know there are times when God will make even your enemies to be at peace. There are times God can show you favor through the worst of people. From there we put out to sea and sailed under the shelter of Cyprus because the winds were contrary. The winds were contrary. I want you to know that you live in a contrary world. When we had sailed through the sea along the coast of Cilicia and Pamphylia, we landed at Myra in Lycia. 
There, the centurion found an Alexandrian ship sailing for Italy, and he put us aboard it. When we had sailed slowly for a good many days, and with difficulty had arrived off Nidus, since the wind did not permit us to go further, we sailed under the shelter of Crete off Salone. Things started to go wrong right away. They, they were on board the ship. It says, when we, we, Right? Uh, yes, we, a bunch of us. Mm -hmm. There were 276 people on board that ship. 276. 276. Sailors, soldiers, sailors, sinners, and saints. I want you to know that we're in the same boat as them out there. We're not to be of the world. sorry. We are not to be of the world. But we're in the world. We're on the same boat. Don't lose sight of them. Okay. Verse 8, with difficulty sailing past it, we came to a place called Fair Havens, near, near which was the city of Alcia. When considerable time had passed and the voyage was now dangerous, as you pass through this life, Tandis que tu passes au travers de cette vie, I want you to know that it's dangerous. Je vous sache qu'il y a des choses dangereuses. Especially now. Maintenant même. Because the Apostle Paul said, Parce que l'apôtre Paul a dit, In the last days, Dans les derniers jours, Perilous times would come. Des moments périlleux viendront. These are perilous times. Ce sont des moments périlleux que nous vivons actuellement. These are dangerous times. Ce sont des moments dangereux. You better not go out alone at night. Il faut mieux de ne pas sortir seul. Or during the day. You better be able to say like David did. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me. Don't go alone. Don't leave home without Jesus. The seas are rough. The seas are rough. Okay, so the voyage is now dangerous. Since even the fast was already over, Paul, Paul began to admonish them. Verse 10. And he said to them, Men, I perceive that the voyage will certainly be with damage and great loss, not only of the cargo and ship, but also of our lives. Je vois, mes amis, que ce voyage sera dangereux. Le bateau et sa carrière les auront subi des graves dommages. Et de plus, nous risquons nous-mêmes d'y perdre la vie. You know, the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Vous savez, l'apôtre Paul a dit dans 1 Corinthiens chapitre 2. That the natural man. Que le naturel. Does not accept, receive the things of the Spirit of God. N'accepte pas de recevoir les choses de l'Esprit de Dieu. Because they are spiritually appraised. Parce qu'ils sont... They are spiritually appraised. When Paul says that he perceived, he was spiritually appraised. Paul knew the word of God. Paul lived the word of God. When the word of God says, lean not on your own understanding, you had better perceive what the understanding, the will, the heart of God is. And live according to that. Paul got discernment. Paul got a word of God. He said, I know that this voyage will certainly be with damage and great loss. It says in verse 11. Do not fear. But the centurion. Well, the centurion was more persuaded 
Le officier revenu avec plus confiance. By the pilot and the captain of the ship. Ça nous change la vie des propriétaires du bateau. Then by what was being said by Paul. Que dans les paroles de Paul. Okay, we're going to do that one again. Nous allons le faire encore. The centurion was more persuaded. Le officier revenu avec plus confiance. By what the captain was saying. Par le son du capitaine et du propriétaire du bateau. By what the pilot was saying. Que parce que le propriétaire du bateau disait. Well, of course he was. Vraiment, bien sûr qu'il était. These were the people with the expert advice. Il était avec les gens qui avaient de l'expérience. The captain is a man that knows the ship better than anybody. Le capitaine est c'est quelqu'un qui connaît le bateau plus que que plus que tout le monde. The pilot is a man that knows it better than anybody. Le pilot est celui-là qui connaît tout plus que tout le monde. The centurion would have been stupid to listen to Paul. Alors l'officier devait être très stupide d'écouter Paul. He listened to the experts. Il a il écoutait plutôt aux experts. What was that a big mistake? Mais c'était une très grande erreur. That's a big mistake that a lot of Christians make all the time. C'est une très grande erreur que plusieurs chrétiens font le plus la plupart du temps. You listen to the experts. Vous écoutez aux experts. You listen to the doctors. Vous écoutez aux docteurs. You listen to the bankers. Vous écoutez aux banquiers. You listen to the solicitors. Vous écoutez les solliciteurs. You better be persuaded by the word of God and stand. Il est mieux d'être persuadé par la parole de Dieu. They were persuaded by the experts of the world. Ils étaient persuadés par les experts du monde. In Romans chapter eight. Dans Romains chapitre 8, Paul said, I am persuaded Paul dit, je suis persuadé that nothing can separate me from the love of God. Que rien ne me séparera de l'amour de Dieu. What's persuading you? Qu'est-ce qui te persuade? What's convincing you? Qu'est-ce qui te convainc? The world's experts? Les experts du monde? Or the word of God? Par la parole de Dieu. Because I'm going to tell you something. Parce que je te dirai quelque chose. If you are led by the world's experts, si tu es conduit par les experts du monde, you are headed for a storm. Tu es une terre, tu es, tu es devant une tempête. Amen. Okay. Verse 12. Verse 12. Because the harbor was not suitable for wintering. Alors le port ne convenait pas pour y passer l'hiver. The majority reached a decision. C'est pourquoi la plupart des hommes à bord décidèrent. Oh no. Uh huh. Like that. Oh no. God spoke in His Word in Exodus. Dieu a parlé en dans le livre d'Exode. And He said, "You better not follow a multitude into doing evil." Il a dit, "Ne ferai mieux de ne pas suivre la multitude quand il parle bien du mal." Listen to what I tell you. Écoute ce que je vous dis. You better not be following the crowd. Ferai mieux de ne pas suivre la foule. You better be following the Lord God. Ferai mieux de suivre le Seigneur Dieu puissant. There's an old expression that I heard when I was young. Il y a une ancienne expression que j'ai suivie quand j'étais jeune. I haven't heard this in a long time. Je l'ai pu écouter il y a très longtemps. Can fifty thousand Frenchmen be wrong? Est-ce que cinquante mille Français peuvent être faux? And the answer is. Et la réponse est. Oui. Yes. But the word of God cannot be wrong. Mais la parole de Dieu ne pourra jamais être fausse. No promise that He has promised has failed to come to pass. Aucune de ses promesses ne 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 tombe à terre sans s'accomplir. God watches over His word to perform. Dieu veille sur ses paroles pour l'accomplir. Say one more time. Il a dit une fois. You better not follow the crowd. Il est mieux de ne pas suivre la foule. You better be following the Lord. Il est mieux de suivre le Seigneur. Amen. Amen. Okay. So they put out the sea from there. They were trying to reach Phoenix in verse 12. Il voulait atteindre si possible Phoenix. A harbor of Crete. Un port de Crète. Facing southwest and northwest. Tourné vers le sud-ouest et le nord-ouest. And spend the winter there. Pour passer l'hiver. You see, that was considered a safe place to stop for the winter. Ça pense. The world will tell you that there are safe places out there in the world. Le monde vous dira qu'il y a des endroits de sécurité là dans le monde. The world is wrong. Le monde est faux. I'm going to tell you today where there is safety. Je voudrais vous dire ce qui est ce qu'est cet endroit de sécurité. Put this on your Google Maps. Mettez cela dans quelque part, dans quelque part. Just put this on your map because I'm going to tell you where it's safe to go. Mettez cela dans votre. In the shelter of the Most High, the shadow of the Almighty. Mettez cela dans votre. In the shelter of the Most High, the shadow of the Almighty. In the shadow. It's a long and tough piece. In the hand of God, where no man can snatch you out. In the hand of God. If you're someplace else, it's not safe. 
Il n'y a plus d'autre endroit que la main de Dieu qui peut être en, où tu peux être en sécurité. Ok. Ok. Verse 13. Verset 13. When a moderate south wind came up, un léger vent du sud se mit à souffler. Supposing that they had attained their purpose. Ils pensaient qu'ils pouvaient réaliser leur projet. They thought it was all right. Ils croyaient que tout allait bien. They thought it was fine. Ils croyaient que tout était bon. They thought they were. It's all right now. Il croyait que oh, ils avaient déjà gagné, tout va bien. I'm going to read to you something. You don't have to turn there. Je vais lire. I'm going to read to you from Jose Amos, right? Je vais lire quelque chose dans le livre d'Amos. I'm. You can look at it. Uh, Amos, chapter 5, verse 19. I'm going to read 19 and 20. Je vais lire le verset 19 et 20. Yes. What she said. <laughs> Patience is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay? 19, 519. As when a man flees from a lion, Quand pour un homme qui fuit devant un lion, and a bear meets him, tombe sur un ours, or goes, goes home, il entre à la maison, and leans his hand against the wall, il a pris la main au mur, and a snake bites him. Il se fait mordre par un serpent. Will not the day of the Lord be darkness instead of light? Lumineux le jour du Seigneur, non, ce sera un jour noir et un jour d'austérité. Even gloom with no brightness in it. Sans le moindre lumière. For those people who are not following the Lord. Si ces personnes ne suivent pas l'Éternel. They thought that they had achieved their purpose. Ils croyaient qu'ils avaient accompli leur but. They were wrong. Ils avaient tout faux. Verse 14, this is why. Verse 14 back here. Verse 14 on the des Actes. But before very long there rushed down from the land a violent wind called Urkilo. And when the ship was caught in it and could not face the wind, when the ship was caught in it and could not face the wind, le bateau fut entraîné, il était impossible de ne maintenir contre le vent. We gave way to it and let ourselves be driven along. Et nous avons dû nous laisser emporter. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. Écoutez ce que je vais vous dire. Most Christians' lives are just randomly driven along. Plusieurs chrétiens vies ont été emportés ça et là. Blown this way and that way by the wind. Soufflé, emporté par le vent. And that's what will happen. Et c'est ce qui va se passer. If you haven't grabbed Jesus by the hand, si vous n'avez pas arrêté Jésus par la main, and let Him lead you, et le laisser vous guider, if it's not that Holy Spirit that ce dwells within you, ce n'est pas ce Saint Esprit là qui demeure en toi, that is leading you, qui te conduit, you're going to find out that you're in trouble. Tu vas te retrouver dans les des problèmes trop. And your life will just be driven along. Et ta vie sera juste emportée. God has a purpose for your life. Dieu a un but pour ta vie. God has destiny for your life. Dieu a une destinée pour ta vie. Amen. You don't want your life just driven here and there. Ne voulez pas que votre vie soit juste portée ça et là. But when you're led by the Holy Spirit, quand vous êtes conduit par le Saint Esprit, you will walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. Vous marchez dans la puissance du Saint Esprit. And you will see the mighty glory, the works of God. Et vous verrez la puissance glorieuse qui marche avec Dieu. Verse 16. Verse 16. Running under the shelter of a small island called Clauda. Nous avons passé au sud d'une petite île appelée Clauda. We were scarcely able to get the ship's boat under control. Qui nous abritait un peu. A ship's boat. Le bateau à couler. That's a little boat that the big boats carry. Sont les bruits de sauvetage. Sont les bruits de sauvetage. It's called a lifeboat. Ça s'appelait les bateaux de sauvetage. Alice and I came over here to England this year. Alice est venue ici jusqu'en Angleterre. On a big ship. Dans un grand bateau. The first thing they do when they get you on that big ship. La première des choses qu'on a fait lorsqu'on entrait dans ce grand bateau. Is you have lifeboat drills. Était de se rassurer qu'on avait les bateaux de sauvetage. So you know how to get straight to the lifeboat if you need it. Alors tu sais comment aller directement vers les bateaux de sauvetage si tu en as besoin. They do that to this day. Ils l'ont fait en ces jours. They couldn't get it under control. They couldn't pas contrôler le bateau. So what they did? Alors ce qu'ils ont fait? In verse 17. Dans le verset 17. After they had hoisted it up, they lifted it up onto the big. Après qu'ils l'ont levé, 
They use supporting cables in undergirding a ship. Les marins ont remonté à bord puis ont attaché les cordes de secours autour du bateau. And fearing that they might run aground on a shallow of Syrtis. Comme ils craignaient d'aller se jeter sur les blancs de sable au côté de Libye. They let down the sea anchor. Ils lâchaient l'ancre flottante. And in this way, let themselves still be driven along. Et se laissaient aussi entraîner par le vent. A sea anchor just tries to keep you faced into the wind. L'ancre flottante essaie juste de se When the world gets in trouble, we don't try anything. We have an anchor. We have a hope. We have an anchor of our soul. His name is Jesus Christ. He will keep you safe. No matter how strongly the wind blows. Lorsqu'on se débattait quand le vent soufflait, no matter how big the waves are, quelle qu'en soit la grandeur du vent, if Jesus Christ is your anchor, si Jésus Christ est votre ancre, he will keep you fast and alors il va vous garder plus rapidement. Don't look for answers from the world. Ne regardez pas les réponses en tournant vers le monde. The next day, as we were being violently storm tossed, et le jour suivant, ils lançaient à leur propre main l'équipement. They began to jettison the cargo. Ils lancèrent de leur propre main l'équipement du bateau par dessus bord. These ships lived to carry cargo. Ce bateau devait porter des cargos. This was an Alexandrian ship. It said that, remember? Yes. Vous vous rappelez que ce qu'on a dit concernant le bateau? These ships carried grain from North Africa back to Rome. Ce bateau portait des cargos depuis l'Afrique jusqu'à Rome. To feed the Romans. Pour nourrir Rome. These ships lived to carry that cargo. Alors ce bateau-là portait ses cargos. But when it got tough. Lorsque tout était, c'était devenu difficile. When it got stormy. Lorsqu'il y avait des tourments et des trous. They started throwing it all over. Ils ont, ils ont tout versé cela dans, le, dans la mer. If you trust in the world, si vous croyez en la parole, it's going to take everything you have away from you. Alors cela va prendre, si vous croyez au monde, le monde va prendre tout ce que vous avez de vous. You know the story. Vous connaissez l'histoire. There was a man and woman who had an issue of blood. Il y avait une femme qui avait une issue de perte de sang. She was desperate. Elle était désespérée. She spent all that she had on the doctors. Elle avait euh, dépenser tout ce qu'elle avait sur les docteurs. Là, j'ai dans les grands troubles, je donne tout ce que je suis à pour essayer d'être soulagée. Et finalement, elle est allée à l'endroit yeah. lorsqu'elle est arrivée à cet endroit, elle a touché le pont du vêtement. Yeah. C'était la réponse. Touch Jesus. Touche Jésus. On the third day, they threw the ship's tackle overboard with their own hands. Le jour suivant, ils lançaient de leur propre main l'équipement du bateau de support. On these big old sailboats. Sorry. On these big old sailing ships. Et. Bateau. 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 C'est grand bateau marchand. Très grand bateau marchand. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Big boat, big sails. The tackle is what they use to steer and control the ship. C'est ce qu'ils utilisent pour contrôler le bateau. The storm got so bad. The storm got so bad. La tempête est allée très mal. That they threw away all hope of control. Ils ont jeté tout ce qui pouvait les contrôler, leur espoir. I see a lot of people with their lives out of control. Je vois beaucoup de personnes avec leur vie sans aucun contrôle. Because they've trusted in the world. Parce qu'ils ont mis leur confiance au monde. The storm got worse. Alors le vent a c'est des vents le vent c'est gâté. They had the wrong anchor. Et ils ont eu un mauvais ancre. They had not the hope of Jesus. Ils n'ont pas eu l'espoir de Jésus. Since neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, pendant plusieurs jours, verset 20, on ne pouvait, on ne peut voir ni le soleil ni les étoiles. No small storm was assailing us. From then on, all hope of being saved was gradually abandoned. Et la tempête restait toujours aussi forte. Nous avons finalement perdu tout espoir d'être sauvés. I've been preaching this gospel for more than three and a half decades. J'ai prêché cet évangile plus de trois.
pendant 30 ans. I have met a lot of people who have given up all hope. J'ai vu plusieurs personnes qui ont abandonné leur foi. They've tried this and they've tried that. Ils ont essayé ici, ils ont essayé là-bas. And nothing worked. Et rien n'a marché. I've met Christians who pray. J'ai permis, j'ai fait que les chrétiens prient. And nothing happened. Et rien ne s'est produit. So they give up. Alors ils ont abandonné. You can't give up. Tu ne peux pas abandonner. You know the account of Naaman the leper? Sorry? Do you know the story of Naaman the leper? Vous connaissez l'histoire de Naaman le lépreux? Yes. I got one yes. 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 But before he could even get there, I'm going to tell you something. When you're trusting in the Lord, the answer will come chasing you. 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 And Naaman did seven times. Et Naaman a fait cela. Came up clean. Il est sorti et tombé. Came up without leprosy. Il est sorti sans lèpre. Came up a new man. Il est sorti un nouvel homme. But what would have happened? Mais ce qui s'est passé? If after dipping five times. Ce qui ne se passait que après être jeté cinq fois. He quit. Il aurait dû abandonner. And said, "This isn't working." Et dit, ça ne marche pas. What would have happened if after dipping six times? Qu'est-ce qui serait passé si tu serais plongé six fois? He said, "I'm still a leper." Il dit, "Je suis toujours un lépreux." I'm going home. Je rentre à la maison. You got to press on. Vous devez presser. You have to press on. Vous devez presser. Press on. 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 Oubliez, mettez votre vie de côté. I press on towards the goal. Et persévérez, pressez, forcez. Of the upper call of God. Dans la paix de Dieu. Je vais presser, je vais forcer, je vais persévérer, n'abandonnez pas, n'abandonnez pas. When they had gone a long time without food. Oui. Twenty-one, verse twenty-one. Then the Paul stood up in their midst and said. Ceux qui étaient à bord n'avaient rien à manger depuis longtemps. Alors Paul, debout, a manqué leur vie. Vous avez votre Bible, est-ce que vous pouvez le lire avec moi Est-ce que je peux paraphraser ceci Laissez-moi paraphraser ce qu'on prenait. L'apôtre Paul s'est levé au milieu de tout ce qui est dans le bateau. Et il a dit, Je vous l'ai 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 dit. The day is coming. Le jour viendra. That all the people that think you're foolish. That que tous ceux-là qui pensent que tu es stupide. When all the people who mock you. Que tous ceux-là qui te rendent mal, qui te rend, qui se moquent de toi. When you're going to be able to stand before those people. Ces gens-là pour qui tu devant qui tu peux même pas te tenir. And say I told you so. Et dis je t'ai. Je vous avais dit. Because what God has spoken to you. Parce que quand Dieu vous parle. Will come to pass. Alors cela va se accomplir. Amen. Now read what it actually says in the Bible. Maintenant je vais lire ce qui est écrit dans la Bible. Paul said. Paul a dit. Men, you ought to have followed my advice. Vous auriez dû m'écouter, mes amis. And not to have set sail from Crete and incurred this damage and loss. Ne pas quitter la Crète, nous aurions ainsi évité ces dommages et ces pertes. I told you so. Je vous ai dit. But Paul had the heart of God the Father. And Paul had the mind of Christ. In case you don't know it, so do you. So he didn't return evil for evil. He said, I told you so, but then he said, il a dit, je vous ai dit, je vous ai dit, mais après il a dit. Yet now I urge you to keep up your courage. Et maintenant je vous invite à prendre courage. We're supposed to be a people of encouragement. Nous devons être des personnes qui encouragent. Today, as long as it's still called today. Aujourd'hui. Encourage one another. Encourageons-nous les uns les autres. We need to encourage.
encourage those people out there. Donc vous encouragez ces personnes là dehors. Who don't know any better. Qui ne nous connaissent pas aussi bien. To encourage them to receive. Les encourager. The answer. À recevoir les réponses. Jesus Christ. Jésus Christ. For this very night, verse 23, for this, this very night, an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I serve stood before me. Verset 23, cette nuit, en effet, un ange de Dieu à qui j'appartiens et que je sers s'est approché de moi et m'a dit. Man, you want to highlight this verse if you highlight verses. Si vous pouvez euh, souligner ce verset, soulignez-le. I hear a lot of people talk about their relationship with God. J'entends plusieurs personnes parler de la relation avec Dieu. I hear a lot of people. Say that that's my God. J'entends plusieurs personnes dire que c'est mon Dieu. That's all good. C'est tout, tout c'est bien. But Paul stood there and said. Mais Paul s'est levé et a dit. The God to whom I belong. Le Dieu à qui j'appartiens. He knew. Il savait. He belonged. Mm. À qui il appartenait. And if you've ever read Isaiah 43. Et dans lisons Isaïe 43. And if you haven't, you better go do it. Et si vous avez une bonne Bible, il serait mieux de le lire. It says that we are precious in His sight. Il dit que nous sommes précieux à ses yeux. We've been purchased with a price. Nous avons été arrachés, rachetés par la grâce. The price that God the Father paid for you. Le prix que Dieu le Père a payé pour nous. Was His Son Jesus Christ. Était son fils Jésus Christ. I know the God to whom I belong. Je connais le Dieu en qui j'appartiens. Amen. And has changed my life. Qui a changé ma vie. The angel stood before him. Non, j'ai tenu vers lui. Verse 24, saying, Verset 24, il a dit, Do not be afraid. N'aie pas peur, Paul. You must stand before Caesar. Il faut que tu comparaisses devant l'empereur. And behold, God has granted you all those who are sailing with you. Et Dieu, dans sa bonté pour toi, t'accorde la vie de tous ceux qui naviguent avec toi. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Pour l'éternel Jésus Christ. And you shall be saved and your household. Et tu seras sauvé toi et toute ta famille. Read. You can. 
and you want believe the word of God. But now God says through Paul, verse 26. Verse 26. 26. But we must run aground on a certain island. Let me say it one more time. Just because God has blessed you. Just because God you doesn't mean that you're not going to hit the rocks. Ça veut pas dire que vous aurez à vous, vous n'aurez pas à voir des difficultés. Many of the afflictions of the righteous. Plusieurs sont les afflictions du juste. But Mais the Lord delivers from them all. Alleluia. Alleluia. And you know that Hebrew word and that Greek word. Et vous savez que les paroles hébreues et les paroles grecques. For all. De tout. Actually means. Veut dire, oh. Oh. Okay. He's not going to deliver you from some of them. He's not going to deliver you from most of them. He said, I will deliver you from all of them. And I believe it will turn out just like he said. Somebody ought to get excited about this. Okay. But when the 14th night came, as we were being driven about in the Adriatic Sea, about midnight the sailors began to surmise that they were, that they were approaching some land. First good thing they'd seen in a while. They took soundings Il en sait un son. and found it to be 20 fathoms. A little further on, que était profond de 37 mètres. Un peu plus loin, they took another sounding and found it to be 15. Il en sert de nouveau la sonde et trouve vers 28 mètres de profondeur. That means that the water is getting more shallow. Ça veut dire que l'eau est en train de baisser un peu plus. Okay. I'm saying in the deep end. All right, fearing that we might run aground somewhere on the rocks, they cast four anchors from the stern and wished for daybreak. They were wishing for the sun to rise. The sun has risen. How are they going to know that if you don't tell them? That world out there Ce monde là is in darkness. Et dans le noir. And deep darkness covers the people. Et le grand noir couvre beaucoup de personnes. You are the light of the world. Vous êtes la lumière du monde. You better let that little light shine. Il mieux de laisser cette petite lumière briller. Because it's the only hope they have. Parce que, is the light of Jesus. Parce que le seul espoir qu'ils ont, c'est la lumière de Jésus. And by the way, Et en passant, the only hope you have L'espoir que tu as, la lumière de Jésus. God's no respecter of men. Dieu ne fait pas exception. Verse 30. Verset 30. Now I said that you might want to highlight if you highlight your Bible. J'ai dit si vous soulignez vos Bibles, vous pouvez souligner. You may want to highlight verse 30. Soulignez le verset 30. Some of you may want to highlight it with a permanent black magic marker. But as the sailors were trying to escape from the ship and had let down the, the ship's boat, the lifeboat into the sea, on pretense of intending to lay out anchors in the back, Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, Unless these men remain in the ship, you yourselves cannot be saved. Do you get this? This is the lifeboat. This is what you have if the ship sinks. And God says, cut it loose. Et Dieu dit, or you ne partez pas, ou si vous, sinon vous tous vous allez mourir. Cut loose the lifeboats. Dieu a, de, a demandé de couper les bateaux de sauvetage. Lots of Christians say they're walking in faith. Plusieurs chrétiens disent qu'ils marchent dans la foi. But they got lifeboats. Mais ils ont des bateaux de sauvetage. Just in case God doesn't come through. Juste au cas où Dieu ne se montre pas. Oh, I'm trusting in God to provide. Oui, je crois que Dieu va pouvoir. But just in case I stuck a 
bunch of money under my mattress. <laughs> you trust in God completely. Vous croyez en Dieu complètement? Or you don't trust in God at all. Or alors vous ne croyez pas en Dieu. There is no middle ground. Il n'y a pas de signe de milieu. Faith in God is faith in God. La foi en Dieu c'est la foi en Dieu. If God sees the lifeboats. Si Dieu si Dieu voit un bateau de sauvetage, he'll tell you, go ahead and use it. Alors il te dira, va utiliser. And you're in big, big trouble. Et tu es dans des grands grands tourments. That's a tough thing. I'm not telling you. C'est une chose très dure, je vous dis. We need to examine our lives. Nous allons examiner nos vies. And see where we are keeping things. Nous allons voir si nous gardons des choses. Just in case God doesn't come through. Juste au cas où Dieu ne se montre pas. Because you're saying God may not come through. Parce que vous dites que Dieu ne pourrait ne pas se montrer. When you do that, vous le faites. Écoutez-moi. You are calling him. Vous l'appelez. A liar. Un menteur. Don't do that. Until the day was about to dawn. Verse 33. Think about the light bulbs. Paul was encouraging them to take some food. Avant la venue du jour, Paul les invite à tous à prendre de la nourriture. Saying the day is the fourteenth day you have been constantly watching and going without eating, having taken nothing. En disant aussi aujourd'hui que c'est toujours que Dieu vous a donné quoi si et que vous restez sans rien manger. Therefore, I encourage you to take some food. Je vous invite à prendre de la nourriture. For this is for your preservation. Car vous avez besoin pour être sauvé. Listen. Écoutez. Christ that world. Beyond là. And tell the unsaved people you know. Dis aux personnes qui ne sont pas sauvées que vous connaissez. Take some food. Prenez un peu de nourriture. Take some food for your preservation. Prenez un peu de nourriture pour votre salut ou pour être sauvé. Yes, tell them that. Take 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 some food. Dites leur de prendre un peu de nourriture. Get close to them. Allez plus proche que. Look at them in the eyes. Regardez les trois dans les yeux. And say to them. Et dis-leur. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Goûtez voir la gloire de Dieu. He is the bread of life. Il est le pain de vie. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Les hommes ne vivent pas de pain seulement, mais de toutes les paroles qui sortent de la bouche de Dieu. You better go out there and tell them to eat. Il serait mieux d'aller là-bas et leur demander de manger. God spoke to Ezekiel. Est-ce que je peux parler à Ezekiel? Dieu a parlé à Ezekiel. And said, I've set you as a watcher. Il a dit, je t'envoie comme un sentinelle. Sentinel. Si tu vois les ennemis venir, and you warn the people, et vous avez tu averti les gens, and they don't do anything, et qu'ils ne font rien, their blood is on their head. alors le sang elle, se repose sur la tête. But if you don't sound the warning, et si tu ne les, les avertis pas, and the enemy comes, les ennemis viennent, the blood is on alors le sang se repose sur ta tête. You better go out and blow the trumpet in Zion. Faites mieux d'aller sonner vos trompettes. Or in Louisiana. Ou alors vous perdez vos. Or in Louisiana. Louisiana. Ah, Louisiana. We better sound the alarm. Faites mieux d'aller sonner la trompette. I don't want anybody's blood on my head. Je veux pas qu'un sang repose sur ma tête. Because I didn't tell them. Parce que je leur ai pas dit. They took bread. He took bread and gave thanks to God in the presence of all. He broke it and began. Sur ces mots, pour prier du pain et de la servir devant tous, puis il le remplit et se mit à manger. Hallelujah. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord when you eat. Rendez grâce à Dieu lorsque vous mangez. Amen. All of them were encouraged, and they themselves also took food. Tous ont pris leur courage et mangèrent aussi. All of us in the ship were 276 persons. Les gens sur le bateau, 276 personnes. Sailors, soldiers, saints, and sinners. Des saints, des pêcheurs, des soldats et des marchands. When they had eaten enough, they began to lighten the ship by throwing out the wheat into the sea. Quand j'avais mangé à sa fin, on jeta le blé à la mer pour aller pour alléger le bateau. I told you, the only reason this boat existed. The only reason this boat existed was to carry that wheat. La seule raison pour laquelle le bateau existait, c'était parce qu'il portait tous ces cargos. Quand ils sont venus, ils ne pouvaient pas reconnaître la terre. But they did observe a bay with a beach. Mais ils aperçurent une baie avec une plage. And they resolved to drive the ship onto it if they could. Et ils décidaient de faire aborder le bateau si possible. And casting off the anchors, they left them in the sea. Détachaient les ancres et c'est parti dans la mer. While at the same time they were loosening the ropes of the rudders. Mais en même temps les cordes et les rames. 
hoisting the foresail to the wind. Qui servait du gouvernail. Heading to the beach. Puis il sert une voile à l'avant du bateau pour que le vent le pousse et le dirige vers la plage. But striking a reef. Striking a reef. A reef? C'est une pluie, non? A reef is the rocks that are just under the water. You can't see them. What verse is it? Forty-one. Verse forty-one. Mais ils arrivèrent contre un banc de sable entre deux courants où le bateau est capri. A reef is hidden rocks. In other words, they saw the beach. They couldn't, they couldn't see the reef. I want you to know there are hidden dangers out there. The devil is subtle. 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 The devil is be prayerful the way you walk. They ran the vessel aground. In verse 41, they ran the vessel aground. And the prow stuck fast and remained immovable. But the stern began to be broken up by the force of the waves. La partie avant du bateau étant enfoncée dans le sable et ne pouvait pas bouger, tandis que la partie arrière était brisée par la violence des vagues. The soldiers' plan was to kill the prisoners. Les soldats voulaient tuer tous les prisonniers. So none of them could swim away and escape. Afin qu'aucun d'eux ne s'échappe à la nage. I'm telling you that world out there is. Je vous dis, c'est ce monde là où il y a des problèmes. Don't give them an excuse. Ne leur donnez pas une excuse. Okay. But the soul of the centurion. Wanting to bring Paul safely through, kept them from their intention, and commanded that those who could swim should jump overboard first and get to land. And the rest should follow, some on planks, others on various things from the ship. And so it happened, they were all brought safely to land. God had said it. So it was. So that should be the end of the story. But of course it's not. Chapter 28. Just for a minute. Chapitre 28. When they had been brought safely through, we found out that the island was called Malta. The natives showed us extraordinary kindness. For because of the rain that had set in because of the cold, they kindled the fire and received us all. Once again, God's favor. Paul, being a doer, not just a hearer, saw something needed to be done, so he started to do it. He went out to get firewood. Verse 3. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and fastened onto itself. It just doesn't end. God brings you through one thing. And here's an old devil coming at you again. I want you to know it doesn't end. Until. Until. We reach that place of rest. When it's all over. Hallelujah. So I had a viper, that's a poisonous snake. It's a deadly snake. A deadly snake. The people that lived on that island, they knew it was a deadly snake. Because it says in verse 4, when the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand, Undoubtedly, this man is a murderer. 